Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make that egg and ham McMuffin that you usually get from McDonald's. It's very quick and easy. As you can see here in front, we have a bowl. It's just a porcelain or a glass bowl. It's a microwave safe. Inside you'll see there's kind of a, a shiny substance in there. That is just a like a Pam or a Crisco spray. It's a non-stick spray. Uh, that's going to help out a lot whenever it comes to the egg and I'll show you why later. And of course, all we need is just one egg, not the whole dang thing. Uh, anyhow, we're going to put one of these eggs in here, and we're going to actually microwave this, and you're going to watch it puff up in the microwave. In addition to this, we're also going to have a slice of meat. It could be your choice of ham or pastrami, turkey, whatever you choose. Uh, I've got turkey pastrami, which is uh, one of my favorites because it's got peppers in it. Uh, and then, of course, a slice of cheese, and we have a uh, English muffin, we've, which we've put in the toaster to lightly brown. So let's get started. We're going to show you how to do this. We're going to, I'm going to have to do this one-handed, so please forgive me if I get some um, eggshell in here. I've never done this one-handed, and it looks like I did pretty dang good. There's not one piece of shell in there. That's awesome. All right, and then we're going to take a fork and lightly beat it just to get some consistency in there. We don't need a partially yellow, partially white egg. All right. All right, we're going to stick this in the microwave. All right, right in the center is preferred. Help get some even cooking. And we're just going to put it in there for two minutes to start with, with one egg. All right, we're going to let that cook. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to come back over here and get my English muffin out. And I'll put it in the toaster here, my coffee ingredients. And there's one. Okay, I'm going to have a little trouble, so I do have to put this camera down for a minute. Got to get these out, and that takes two hands because my can my uh, uh, toaster's got one of those lift things, so I have to have two hands to do this. All right, so now, oh yeah, I hurt my hand. Don't worry about that. All right, so now we've got our little muffin, and we've got a slice of cheese, just regular old American or whatever you want. You can have that Colby or, or Munster or anything you like, and then of course we've got one slice of turkey cotto salami. And we're gonna put that on there as well. No sauces on mine particularly. Some people like mayonnaise. Some people want to uh, put other things on there. That's fine. Hot sauce is a good one. That's one of my favorites. All right, let me get this cheese out. And again, folks, I'm sorry. I'm having to do this one handed, so you've got a shaky cameraman here. I have nobody here to help me out with that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stick that there. Now, what we need to do is wait for that egg to finish cooking. And I'm going to put this back in the fridge so the eggs don't go bad. All right, let's see how our egg is doing in here. And you can see it's starting to puff up a little bit. We've got about 37 seconds left on there. Okay. Almost done. Now, one thing you do want to make sure of is that whenever you're done cooking your egg, that you lift up a little bit on the sides to make sure there's no runny spots left. If there is, just throw it in for about another 30 seconds until it's all uh, cooked. But generally, it'll cook within the two minutes. You do want to be careful not to overcook it. We're going to check it real quick. I think we're good. Ten seconds left there. Oh, yeah, that looks great. All right, we're going to put that there. Just bring our, ouch, our hot bowl over here. I do recommend using some sort of glove or something. Now, with the cheese there, we're going to put that directly on top of that egg, just like that. All right, now... See the top's right there, got the bottom, and it's actually already all stacked. Now, typically I like to get a paper plate or something, and we're going to put that paper plate just on top, and we're going to flip the whole thing over. And I'm going to, again, try and do this one-handed without messing everything up, and that hurt. That was hot. Yeah, please be careful. It is hot. So anyway, we've got the bowl upside down now. I'm trying to lift it off. All right, I've got to use two hands here. That bowl's too heavy. Give me a second. Sorry. All right, there we go. All right, got the bowl off. And you can see here we've got a nice round little egg. Cheese, which is melting from the heat of the egg. And, of course, now a sweaty piece of meat, which, you know, sometimes that's a good thing. Some people like that. Some people don't. Uh, I like my meat partially cooked. Uh, I don't like it too cold. I don't like it burnt. Anyway, so you've got yourself a big old sandwich right there. Enjoy.